An information session will be held for the Hazleton Area School District's Arts and Humanities Academy. Lisa Sugart explains. Today I'm pleased to be joined by Dr. Craig Butler, the Superintendent of Schools for the Hazleton Area School District, and Susan Salvatera. She is the Assistant Principal at Hazleton Area High School, who also happens to oversee the Hazleton Area Arts and, Arts and Humanities Academy, which is right inside the high school. Um, Susan, I guess we'll start with you. How are things going right now with the Arts and Humanities Academy? It's growing, it seems, by leaps and bounds. It, it truly is, Lisa, and we're so excited about our program and very grateful that we're going to be going into our third year uh, with the start of our 2017-18 school year. Uh, we're getting so much positive feedback. The students are excited about it. The teachers and staff are excited about it, and it really is a dream come true for so many of our students. Now, for students who are interested in coming into it, because currently it's 9th through 11th grade, is that correct? Uh, currently it's 9th and 10th, but next school year it'll be 9th, 10th, and 11th, yes. So you're looking for parents who are interested in bringing their students into this at a special information session that's coming up? That's correct, So We're going to be having a parent information night at Hazleton Area High School on Tuesday, February 28th at 7 p.m. in the high school auditorium. So parents should come out and ask any questions they feel because maybe they're unsure if this is right for their child or their child's not sure it's right for them. So this is a perfect opportunity to ask all the questions. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We're going to give an overview of what we have to offer. They'll be hearing information not only from myself, but the teachers involved in the program, as well as our students and other parents to express their interest in the program and what it's done for them. Just, I guess, uh, to ask you, are a lot of the students who are interested in this, like, planning to continue this as a career, or are they doing it just for the simple love of the arts and humanities? Well, it's really a combination of both. It, um, it really enlightens them on who they are, what they want to be. Uh, we have a great component of arts integration, humanities focus in all of the teaching and learning experiences, and it helps our students understand what they're all about. Sounds perfect. Dr. Butler, I know you've been pleased with what you've seen so far and what Susan is doing with this, so give us your take on how it's going. Well, Lisa, I can't say enough about Susan's leadership, first and foremost. Our, the faculty involved in, in the program has been outstanding. Uh, when I visit classrooms in the building and see these kids in action, I can't even describe in words the pride the joy, the enthusiasm, the vitality of the program. It's everything we expected it to be, plus more, really. It's, uh, what a treat it is to have this program in, in the community available for our students. This, this is not a common um, uh, you know, occurrence in the state. Really, we're, we're uh, on the cutting edge. We're, we're above the crest, really, in, in terms of offering this program, much like the uh, STEM school uh, in, in the Valley. Uh, very exciting what's happening. Great to have the board uh, supporting going into the third year. And um, the parent support has been phenomenal. Very good. Well, if you think this might be the fit for your child and you want to know more about what the Hazleton area Arts and Humanities Academy is all about. It is located right inside Hazleton Area High School. Please come to this informational Parents' Night, Tuesday, February 28th, 7 p.m., the Hazleton Area High School Auditorium. Ask your questions and find out if maybe your student will be enrolling in the coming year.